A team of LSU Ag Center scientists are designing nano delivery systems for biomedical food and agricultural applications. Researcher Christina Sableyov is working with tiny particles, but her research has big implications. The Ag Center nanotechnology work could prevent diseases, improve health, heal wounds, and advance agricultural practices. In my lab, uh, we design particles uh, to deliver vitamins and antioxidants to improve their functionality and perhaps uh, improve bioavailability of the vitamin. By entrapping the antioxidants in nanoparticles, they can be targeted to specific cells in the body and their release can be controlled. The nanotechnology research also could have applications for cancer treatment. Doreen Boldor is using microwave technology to rapidly heat carbon nanotubes to temperatures that could kill cancer cells. If you can balance the amount of energy that you heat and you react to that such that you can kill cancer cells while protecting the healthy cells from, from, the, from the damage or from the heat that's going on. Both Sablioff and Boldor are using nanotechnology in agriculture. Sablioff is using nanoparticles to help target pesticides to plants. This research could reduce pesticide drift and runoff and decrease the amount of pesticides used. Bulldor's microwave heating system is being used to produce biofuels from non-food crops such as tallow seeds, algae, and energy cane, giving farmers new commercialization avenues for their crops. Louisiana has plenty of sun, plenty of water, plenty of land available, and therefore farmers would be uh, very keen on finding out new avenues of utilizing these resources in order to increase their uh, profitability. Because the use of nanotechnology in biomedical and agricultural applications is relatively new, the scientists also are looking at the safety of the nanoparticles. With the LSU Wax Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.